You guys know him. He's a former Calgary County commissioner, uh, but uh, now he's uh, basically he's he's turned that he's an actor. He's he's a playwright. He does all kinds of things. Cleveland's own Peter Lawson Jones, as Sissy says, the great Peter <laughs> Lawson Jones. He's in the new um, Tom Hanks movie, uh, A Man Called uh, Otto. And um, I saw the film. It's very, very nice. And um, you did a good job, by the way. Well, thank you. I and and when that. I saw it, I said, we got to get Peter on. We got to get Peter on because, you know, he, he's your your man. I expect bigger things from you, but first of all, I'm just looking forward to it. Let me say this: it's always a pleasure to be in your company. Oh man, back and at you! Talking about the Renaissance man, a, a pastor, well, here's an a, here's author. A, here's Come the thing. on, I've never learned how to tie a bow tie. You got to help me uh, out. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, I have a story. Um, the first person who tried to teach me how to tie a bow tie was Harold Crawford, okay. who was one of the first African American costumers in Hollywood, oh, who lives in Cleveland and oh. is going to be working with me in the next film that I'm going to be involved in. Okay, we're going to talk about that shortly. Let's talk about the, the Tom Hanks film, first of all. Okay. I mean, that's a huge, and you had a, a prominent role in the film. How, how, did you, how did it come about? I know you've been acting for a while, but how did that come about? Well, I tell you, it's a, a, a culmination of 15 years of work in the vineyard. The toughest thing I've ever done in life is try to make my way as an actor and get in more and more impactful projects. Right. Running a campaign is easier a political than campaign. trying, right? Yeah. Because there's so many things when it comes to being an actor that are outside your control. So many subjective factors. Yeah. But um, I'm, yeah, I feel so fortunate. I'm represented by the Doherty Agency here in okay. Ohio and okay. in Western PA. I have five agents to represent me five. across the country. Yeah. And so I was um, just uh, fortunate enough that they scored an audition for me. Yeah. And then I had a call back. Okay. Uh, via Zoom okay. uh, in front of the director, Mark Forster, who's one of the more talented and highly regarded directors uh, working, in the, working in the field, in the industry, and it all worked out. Well, look at some pictures right now. now there there's you Tom go. Hanks that, in the middle. Now, then, then, then you on, on, on the left, who's on the right? That's my youngest son, Evan, who's a senior at Ohio State University. Okay. And Evan uh, is in the film as an extra and okay. was my stand-in for okay. the three days that he was on set in Pittsburgh. Excellent. Now, now talk about working with this, this legend, Tom Hanks. I mean, what kind of experience was that, man? I would be in scenes with him. And I'd be actually looking at him saying, this is Tom Hanks. What in the world am I doing yeah. in a film and in oh, a scene Because there's a whole certain scene where he's right in your face. <laughs> yeah, right. And that was that great, because you, you played you play like a, a stroke victim. Correct. And, and, and best friends with Tom. Absolutely. And he's right in your face, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, and, and that was the moment I'm thinking while we're okay. filming this. This is Tom Hanks right here. I, you know, my, 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 my youngest son asked me, he said, Dad, did you ever think you'd be in a movie with Tom Hanks? I said, of course I did. I never did. What kind 15 of years ago, I didn't think I'd be acting, let alone in a film with Tom Hanks. What kind of guy is he? How is he to work with? Yeah, he all right. Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> let me say this. He is a genius yeah. as an actor. Yeah. He can immediately see things in a scene to improve them. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I, I want to avoid any spoilers, I won't. There's one thing in particular that he did in one of the scenes I'm in where I play, because I play myself, right. as you know, at two different ages and yeah. two different physical right. states. Right. Uh, a young, a young, a younger. Uh, Ruben. A and young then, Ruben, and, and, right. And the, and the Ruben that's, yeah. I'm and, not going to say any more. And, and let me say, so he's a genius. He has a great sense of humor. Yeah. He's a yeah, very funny yeah. and witty guy. Easy to work with, though. Oh, my. Yeah. Let me say this. Yeah. Um, he is one of the more personable people that I've ever encountered in yeah. life. Yeah. Just yeah. very accessible. Yeah. Uh, no pretense whatsoever. Wow. Yeah. You know, you would think he would own, what, a dozen cars? Yeah, yeah. All, you know, classics. <laughs> He holds one car. Oh my gosh! A 2010. Peter got about, got, about got about 15 seconds. What's your next project? <laughs> the next project I'm going to be playing lead in a film that's going to be shot here locally. Okay. A, a kind of low budget independent film, but it's such a wonderfully rich character. The name of the film is The Last Shop on Walnut. I play oh, the man. owner of a of a lamp store Incredible. that in a, in a struggling neighborhood. I have a struggling business. I've been alienated from family. And it's just a beautiful story written by a friend of mine, Jason Richardson, Excellent. with whom I've worked in the past. The, you go to theaters right now. It's called uh, The uh, Man Caught Auto. Peter Lawson Jones is in there, does a wonderful, wonderful job. And uh, man, dream come true for you at this point? Absolutely. I'm still dreaming. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I know you're not I'm done only yet. an act two of a five act play, man. Come on, man. <laughs> proud of you, brother. <laughs> proud to be here. There proud is life after politics.
and in abundance. And abundance. <laughs>